Hi y'all, it's Kathy Joe. Welcome to my channel. Okay y'all, right here I got two of those tag signs from the Dollar Tree. And there's a SKU number. I'm just going to take the little tags that came with off of it and give them both two coats of rust oil and linen white chalk paint. And I'm going to take that 2023 calendar, the farmer's market one, and take that beautiful picture. I know some of y'all may be tired of seeing it, but I can't help it. I had to use it because I think it's gorgeous. And I'm going to take a very, very light layer of Mod Podge. Y'all don't realize how thin a layer of Mod Podge I give this. Um, And I get no wrinkles. Now, when I laid it down, I picked it up right there. That caused a little teeny tiny wrinkle on the upper left-hand side. But if you just use a, a very, very light layer, um, you won't get any wrinkles in it. And it'll stay, no problem. And once you get it on there real good, just rub it down real good with your hands. I have one of those brayers. I don't even use it. I just use my hands and just rub it out really good, guys. And if you don't want wrinkles, which with that, I didn't really care. But then I didn't get any wrinkles. So I'm like, oh, well, what do you do? So I take that book there I got from the Hobby Lobby, <clears throat> scrapbooking book. You can use any paper you want that kind of matches, has the colors of your little truck there. I like that rustic, um, old-timey plaid look, so that's what I'm going with. And with that one, the, I put a little bit, a thicker coat of Mod Podge because that, that's cardstock, so it's really thick. And, of course, it was too short, so I cut it off there. So I'm going to take that lacquer. And I'm going to paint me some red beads. And I'm going to take that, I think it's Vintage Green by Home Decor Folk Art. And paint some green beans. Be green beans? <laughs> I'm not. Anyway. And anyway, I put it on some like masking tape or painter's tape. And I paint one side and I flip them and I paint the other side. I'm sorry, I totally lost track of everything. But I'm just going to cut the excess paper off with my knife. It's already started, y'all. I just got started, and it's already started. Goodness gravy. Whew, okay. Um, I'm going to take my little square there. And it had, like, two lines running up. Can you see it? That are gray. So I thought my pencil would look good right there. If it was, like, doing ship like ship like I can't talk. Ship lap or anything else, I would cut it with my knife to make it look more realistic. But this isn't really going to show that much anyway. Because, But I still go through all this. And I take some elephant chalk paint and I dry brush it all over the entire picture. Not just where, you know, it's separate there. The entire thing. Yeah. <laughs> with my green beans. Good gravy. I don't know why I showed y'all this, but I thought you'd want to see it. You know, if you wanted to, you could draw a line like right between the trees and top of the truck, then right underneath the truck to make it look like you got lines going all the way down the side there. But I take that fallen chalk paint by um, Waverly, and because it kind of matched that brown that's on that paper. I don't know if y'all can see it around the edges, but that's kind of what it looks. So I went ahead and went all the way around the edge of my sign. Um... To try to make it match up with that brown that was already on there. And then I did it around that extra sign there too. Yeah. So, anyway. Goodness gracious. And I take my glue stick. Man, I covered it, didn't I? And I'm uh, going to cover both that backs. Both those backs. And, y'all, I'm going to take that crafting paper from the Dollar Tree. And, and I want to show you. When I do this with that glue stick... And I rub that down. I mean, it looks like the that's just the back. It that it, the sign came that way. You can't even tell. And then cut that out. And I'm gonna cover them both with Mod Podge again. You know, but let those dry completely, cause you will get wrinkles if you don't let it dry completely. Patience is a virtue, y'all. I know I don't have much of it, but I'm telling you, that's what I do. Oh, then I'm gonna take that little pick from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to poke um, the rest of the way through my hole. I'm going to poke my hole out. Anyway, whatever. And I'm going to take a white bead, a red bead, and a green bead. And I'm going to make a little hanger with some jute. And I'm going to hot glue them together. And then, oh, I'm going to take a bunch of ribbon from Dollar Tree, y'all. And I'm going to make a, with the, a skinny... Big fluffy bow. And then I'm going to take that. I got that ribbon, y'all, from Dollar General two years ago. That little red truck ribbon. It's almost all gone now. But anyway, 
um, I'm just going to fluff it up and I'm going to take the pipe cleaner that I used to put the one together. I'm going to dovetail my ends and I'm going to attach my little fluffy bow to my big non-fluffy bow. And then I'm going to use the pipe cleaner also and attach it around my hanger. And there it is, y'all. And I think that is beautiful. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I did put some mistletoe on it too. Mm-hmm. Y'all like that? Oh my gosh, I love that picture. Y'all, I'm telling you. Okay, this is one of my, I don't know, I like this one too. I got two of those, um, I want oblong, that's not what they are. They're um, rectangle signs from the Dollar Tree. And look, I took my heat tool and got the tags off. And then I take some goo gone and wipe the sticky off where the tags were. And then I take some rubbing alcohol and I wipe off the goo gone. So that way when I paint it, that goo gone don't seep through because it can sometimes. And of course, you know, I'm going to sand down around the edges to get that excess paper that's hanging over the edge off because that's just what I always do. You guys know the routine now. And I'm going to put my signs together. <laughs> I'm going to take some of those lower giant, they're called giant, um, uh, craft sticks from the Walmart and then the littler ones from the Lowe's and I put them all over my sign. So my sign don't wobble on the wall. Yeah, I don't want that wobble. It's a wobble, 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 wobble. Anyway, I take, um, <laughs> I don't know what that was. I take a lightweight spackle and I put it in my crack too much. <laughs> filled up my crack too much and I accidentally put two holes look at that I got that for 50 cents last year after Christmas had never at the Walmart had never opened it um I just looked at the size and I and I made these two and it fit perfect y'all perfectly on there can you believe that isn't that beautiful and that's a wall decal so anyway I know I was very impressed so I'm just going to start peeling it off a little bits at a time. It's sticky. So, of course, it's sticky if it's a wall decal and you buy it. I mean, they don't expect you to put Mod Podge on your wall. Now, I try to use uh, masking tape to get that pulled up and didn't work. I had to use that pick from the uh, Cricut crap, you know, you get at the uh, Dollar Tree 2. Because you, I couldn't get them up all fair. The paper was coming with them. Probably because it's been sitting here for two year, a year. Anyway, whatever. So, anyway, it was wrinkly, but just try to, and yeah, I mean, you can pull it up and put it back down, but it will lose its stick, just like the wall decals at the Dollar Tree. But yeah, try to get it straight as I could, but you know, sometimes, rah, 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 my vision ain't the good. And my sign, one was a smidge bigger than the other one, and you can barely see it, but I was like, seriously? And it was the last two I had of that shape, so yeah. Anyway, and it's got the little trees and the... And the little snowflake. So I put my first word down and put masking tape across it to make sure I got them even all the way across through there. And then I just laid out that paper and kind of dropped them down evenly where they were. And instead of putting all three um, trees on each side, I only put two on there. Because I didn't want to be too crowded. Mm. And then I put those black things on there that, that was in there too. And I covered it with the coat of Mod Podge. And then I cover the back, make me a hanger, see? Staple that on there. And there we go, y'all. I love that. I think that just is so pretty. It turned out so good. So you don't need a cricket. You know what I mean? Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm just in love. Yes, I am. Oh, I did wrap jute around the end of each sign. Look at this one, y'all. Oh, and I love this one, too. I got those nesting boxes from the Dollar Tree. I actually got them last year at Halloween time. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to cut all the little hangers off of it. And I'm going to give each of them two coats of Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. Now, right here, I'm taking some tumbling tire blocks, and I'm just going to stick them in um, this... Uh, like that, mm -hmm. and <laughs> right at the edge, cause I sure I'm sure y'all know what I'm making, and I want to have something substantial to glue to each. You know what I mean? Each piece. Now, I put four blocks in that one. I think six in the biggest one. I think six in the middle one too. But anyway, look there it is. Y'all have been telling me you haven't seen her lately, and you missed her. So 
I figured this time when she popped up, I wouldn't cut it out. I don't cut it out on purpose. She just usually pops up there when I'm, like, I was using the heat tool this time when she popped up. And I don't show y'all when I'm doing that. And, yeah, she thought it was funny. She kept knocking down my glue gun. Watch her. There she goes again trying to get it. I don't know why. She just liked that. I don't know what she's doing. I love her so much. I just love her so much. I put a little clip of them at the end of the video because y'all ain't seen them playing for a while. So, to the ones y'all like it. If not, you can fast forward. So, I'm going to draw my eyeballs on my little snowman. Now, I, I'm no artist. But, um, you can... I don't know. I just think about something cute or, you know, look at pictures of other things. You can do that. Um, and, uh... Draw you some eyeballs, and then I'm going to, I don't know, I don't know how to help, and then I'm going to trace it out with, um, a Sharpie, and then, th now here, I, I go over it with the pencil, then I go over it with a Sharpie, I know, right, and there I'm making eyelashes. And I think I, oh, and here I'm just painting in his eyeballs. I'm sorry, y'all. Jessie, I don't know what she's doing. I'm trying to deal with her. I should, shouldn't have done that, but I did. And I'm going to take my blue paint pen here, and I'm going right underneath that black. Oh, I'm lying. I already did that. I'm taking my white paint pen there, and I'm going to put uh, two little dots like in his eyes. And here I got some orange burlap. I'm just cutting out a shape of a carrot nose, which I would rather do frosty. Corn cob pop and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. And I didn't do that because I couldn't figure out how to get a corn cob pop in, in, a, in a cardboard box's mouth. You know what I mean? Y'all, I made the cutest little stack of presents, but I just... This, oh, this video had so much in it already. Anyway, and now I'm just drawing out the mouth. Yeah. Look at its blue eyes. Ain't it cute? I've already glued those two together. And I painted those three buttons black. They were pink. I don't even know if y'all saw that. but Oh, there's that pink, that salmon coral it is. And I mix it with some white. And that's what I'm going to do to give him some little pink rosy cheeks. And I'm going to paint inside of his mouth part of it to make it look like his little tongue. But I didn't finish it. I forgot to, to like draw the little around the tongue but it, so it just looks like a pink blob in his mouth but ah, you know anyway i told y'all what it's supposed to be so <clears throat> my sinus is now just y'all killing me i'll probably lose my voice soon i do every year so i'm just gonna hot glue on them tumbling tower blocks and stick it down to my box there now you could probably do this and not like um not like glue it together and then just nest it back together and put it away for the winter so i got one of them scarves there from dollar tree y'all i've had that a couple years too and i'm just going to wrap it around see how much you know i need and then i'm going to just going to tie it in one little loop there jesse jane you've got to stop shoo wee and i take what's left over and i cut the tassels off of it and i glue it together because i'm going to make even a little hat hmm so the tassels there, I wrap up the end because I left a little bit of piece. You see what I'm saying? And then I'm going to hot glue it together and tack it down because we're going to put the tassels on his hat. Did I already say that? I may have. So you put it in upside down in the center of it and put it upside down. And then I just bunched it all up together there the best I could. Now you don't want to roll it because then it, it, it won't. Well, it might, might open right at the bottom. I just don't know. I didn't know, so I just took a rubber band. Y'all, I'm guessing half this stuff as I go along, and then when it works out, I'm like, hey, I'm going to show you, show my friends. Look what I did. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, so I put a rubber band on it, turn it inside out, but ba bam there's my little, um, we call it toboggan. Um, but I know a lot of people call them beanie. I don't know why everybody, we, I know everybody else, toboggan is a sled. Well, we call them toboggans, and I don't know why. But, okay, I'm going to tack, huh, look at this, <laughs> ignore that mess in the background, y'all, ignore it. Now you're really going to look at it that I said ignore it. 
But anyway, I'm going to give it another row up because it was still too big. And in the back, I wanted it to be tighter. So I folded that piece up and I'm going to tack it down there to, you know, make it to where it ain't going to fall off his little head. And it still looks cute. I think I'm going to set him by my Christmas tree this year. Look at him. <laughs> and I'm going to tack my, my scarf down there. Y'all, this was too easy and it turned out just too cute and it's something you could even do with your children or your grandchildren or for yourself like I did yeah and I'm gonna tack it down to the side of his head and look <laughs> look at it how cute I love him I can't help it <laughs> oh goodness gracious anyway okay I got two of those signs there from the, this is the tiered tray that um, I made that y'all wanted to see and, and I got asked to actually make a three tiered square tiered tray out of Dollar Tree materials. Linda, I'm still getting yours. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm taking tumbling tower blocks and I just slap them in there messingly. Um, don't really do that. You can do it after, you, okay, you need to put put some all the way around the edge see now i'm doing it. i'm like uh-oh messed up so i had to cut tunneling tire blocks and actually peel one off but make a frame all the way around the edge and then slap some in the middle for stability yeah and we're going to sandwich those two signs together and we're going to use wood glue i didn't use any hot glue i don't believe just wood glue because yeah hey i got some jingle bell music y'all hear it and then i put some weight on it Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of weight. And now I'm going to take eight tumbling tower blocks, and I'm just going to do them like that. You see? I don't know how to, like an L shape. I don't know how to describe it. Um, put one down, then put one down L shapingly. And I do this for a reason. <coughs> because um, I want, oh my. Um, oh, and then I, I, I made mine a Christmas one. Y'all don't have to. You can paint yours any color, do it any color, put any kind of scrapbook and paper down you want. But I wanted that old, older vintage -y looking uh, Christmas paper to go on my tear tray. <laughs> yeah, because I thought it was cute. Um, and then I take that sign from the Dollar Tree. And I, I know, you guys, that one I've had for two years. Again, I know I've had this stuff a long time. But they they have those there all the time. And um, I'm going to measure the inside of it. And it's it's eight. It's like one line before the eight inch mark. And even when I when I measured it. And even when I cut it that way. See, I measured it out on my paper first. Because I'm like, I, can't, I don't even know if I can see those lines on the. But anyway, I was able to. It was okay. It turned out all right. Anyway, when I even put my measurement down on there. Um, I still had to cut little slithers off of each side to get it to fit. And y'all, I got, I get, did two of them. Got it to fit perfect. I was so proud of myself. I was like, I just know I'm going to cut too much off. And if you just cut little teeny tiny slithers, I mean little teeny tiny slithers, you get, look, bam, perfect. <laughs> and then that little um, sign from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I didn't have enough. I thought that'd be enough, but it wasn't. And on that one, I filled around them cracks with lightweight spackle. And then I painted them both inside, outside, upside, downside with Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. Okay. And now I'm just cutting the excess paper off of my bottom piece there. Good gravy, y'all. And sanding down the excess. Y'all know the drill. Well, some of y'all don't. And I'm going to take five-gallon paint stir sticks here. And that's the reason I put those extra pieces down. I'm going to make little feet, but um, it's going to hold my feet on better. No, I don't know that. I'm, I'm just making it up. In my mind, I thought it would. but And I measured that out. <laughs> I measured that out equally. And don't do that. Uh, give yourself a little bit of edge room because I painted both those in... Uh, I still don't even white chalk paint, but you'll see here in a minute. But I'm going to take hot glue and, <clears throat> excuse me, and I just put the hot glue 
on the tumbling tire blocks in between the two pictures or yeah two signs and then on those feet things i put hot glue because i want it to stick right now and just do it like that and then put your um paint stir sticks on there mm. yeah now these paint stir sticks are like a dollar 38 now ain't that crazy I'm like, that's just ridiculous. But I got all this stuff when it was 98 cents or $1. Yeah. And that scrapbooking paper, I got it before it was 79 cents a piece. Anyway, I was frustrated there because then I realized, great, look what you done, dummy. But anyway, you can take a dowel rod and put it in there to fill that excess room. But actually, just cut yours right. You know what I mean? Leave, leave a little bit. I mean, I cut it right exactly even with each sign. Instead of having enough room to hang over to piece it together. So I cut little tiny pieces. <laughs> little tiny pieces. Of dirt, pieces off of a little tiny dowel rod. And stuck them in there. And um, I put. I took a detailed glue gun. And went right around the edges. to I don't know why. but And then I paint the pieces of those little tiny dowel rods in that white. So anyway. And here I'm just taking some Mod Podge. And I'm putting my pieces in. I mean, y'all, they fit perfect. And take a dry paper towel and push it down <clears throat> to, like, rub it down real good. And I'm taking Mod Podge and covering the top of my bottom. <laughs> anyway. Okay, y'all. I got this um, spindle at um, Lowe's for $1.48. And there's the SKU number. I'm trying. And it's probably blurry. Wait a minute. It comes in comes in real good. Okay, pause it. Oh, you missed it. Anyway, and on one end, I measure out 7 inches. And on the, because I'm going to cut 7 inches off the one end. 7 inches off, the, 8 inches off one end. 7 inches off the other end. And then I'm going to cut one of them middle spindle pieces off. And that's going to be my, my, my pole. I don't know. What do you call it? <laughs> and look, y'all, for $5.78, I know I'm adding this in. I got that, all that Gorilla Glue from the Sam's. But I got these little milk <clears throat> bottles from a uh, Johnstown flea market this year. And I just decided to make them legs. But I painted on my spindles and my little legs there in um, that folk art home decor wood tent, that, um, walnut wood tent. Yeah, and I put that Gorilla Glue on it and a little bit of hot glue, and them bad boys ain't coming off at all. Because that's Gorilla Wood Glue, too. Or Gorilla Glue Sticks. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So I measured out here to make sure I got the center. <clears throat> now... I put this glue on it, and, and I was like, okay, cool. I got scared, y'all, and I and I dropped a screw up through the bottom of it. That's the only place I put a screw, but it's because that was longer, I was kind of scared. So, um, it was holding, though, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just paranoid, because, anyway, so the 8-inch uh, spindle piece I put on the bottom, the 7-inch I put in the middle. Why are you whining for? You want to go in now, don't you? Come on. Okay, now. I don't know what's taking me so long showing you all this. So, well, <laughs> no, I just knew y'all wanted to see me put that together. Okay, okay, and there, no, there I just put some weight down. For a minute. I just put some. There's the little spindle part. See? Because it looks like a little ball on top of it. So I thought I'd just use that. And I could have turned it the other way. Because there was a little ball on the other end. But <clears throat> no one was going to see. I, that's is stuff I made last week, y'all. And I just threw it on there. But I don't have all my decor made for my tear tray this year. But look how nice that is. And it's so big, y'all. It is huge. It is huge. Okay, I got that 11 by 14 <clears throat> at the Family Dollar for a dollar this year, sometime this year. 
and I took the canvas off. I got a few of them. And I'm going to take those cute little beads that Miss Shirley Gut Gutierrez, I can't say it, Shirley, I'm so sorry. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, Gutierrez, I don't know, I'm so sorry, I tried. She sent me them. So I'm going to put them all the way around the frame of my sign. Because I've used them before. I got some clear ones there left over. You're going to need two packs. But, um, and I thought if I had clear ones that they would paint up better. But it actually doesn't matter. They painted up just as good. <clears throat> um, if you take like a, um, stencil brush. You know, I had to cut one little tiny piece off. I thought it would look like cute little, like, snowflakes on. Now, this one I messed up, but y'all. Okay, and here's why I messed up. I used foam board. If you just used the canvas or poster board, it would have been so much better. But Because look at that. I got that for 98 cents at the Walmart this year. That window cling. It's beautiful. I love it. But, so yeah, I got to cut it down. And, um, oh, the reason, what was I telling y'all? <laughs> oh, because after I put the paint on it and it dried and it warped it, of course, it always does. And then I put the Mod Podge on it. And then I put the Mod Podge over I think that's what messed it up because I've done window cleans a lot of times and they've never turned out like this. But then... This is the first time I've ever put it on poster, no, foam board. So I would advise not using foam board. But I'm just taking Rust-Oleum Little White Chalk Paint and going over my little beads there. I painted my frame black. But now I'm cutting off the excess foam board. Y'all can see how warped it is. But I think it just got too wet. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm uh going just hot glue it on. Yeah, where I, where I painted it black. I don't even know if I told you about that. But y'all saw it. And I'm going to cut the excess off. Y'all, my hands are so dry. I went to dust something off that picture. And you see my dry skin. That's so nasty. Oh, I've deleted it out. Anyway, see how my tree is just a little bit too wide? You can't... It don't cut really anything off except that black um, plastic stuff. So, I just put it up against there anyway and took my X-Acto knife and cut it loose. <clears throat> And my Merry Christmas was too long, too, so I just cut it down and made, made it separate because it was just stuck together. And I like the placement of how I did it better anyway, rather than just running together. So I just laid everything out here and seen about where I want to put it. And I put a light coat of Mod Podge on the top there, starting it off. And I always use a, um, well, there I used a wet one and I shouldn't, but... I use a dry paper towel normally when I wipe stuff off. <laughs> Probably just grabbed the first thing I saw. <clears throat> anyway, I'm so sorry, y'all. I know it's gross. You're like, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, and then I just like lift it up where it didn't cover. But I think, and then I went ahead and put it all the way across the bottom down here. Because I had the Merry Christmas and some snowflakes to put down. You know what I mean? And I just, yeah, I just think it got too wet. I know y'all's tired of hearing it, but, I mean, I still liked it. I mean, I'd keep it in my house. I probably wouldn't never give it to anybody. And then I put a coat of Mod Podge on it. But, yeah, so, I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. I got that ribbon at the Walmart this year. And, look, I think that's, it's $2 and something. And... I don't know what I was going to say, but it's black with snowflake ribbon on it. And I'm going to take some hot glue. This is how I'm making my hanger. Putting it down and putting some duct tape over it. But, um, and then I got these pretty pigs from the Walmart this year. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. They had some small, small ones. It was 98 cents, but those were $1.48, I believe. I can't remember anything. And anyway, I just get what I want, see how I want it, and I'm going to take me some jute, tie it up, and wrap it around it, all the way across the thing, my watchy, and that way, if I decide I want to reuse it next year, it's there to reuse. I would actually like to redo that picture, but I don't have any more of those window cleans. I wouldn't do it and put it on a video, but, you know, I'd like to do it just to see if, I mean, just to fix it. Now that, um, Christmas tree ribbon, 
looks like that snowflake. It's exactly the same other than one snowflake and one's Christmas tree. And I got the one for $1.98 last year, and the prices went up to two whatever, two ninety eight, I think. But I just made a bow out of both of them. And I'm going to take some of them little berries and a pine cone and glue it to the center of my little thing there. And see how you can see the outline of it? And I don't think you would have been able to see that. I still don't think it's terrible. but um, And I still like it. But, yeah. It's so pretty that that was... Okay, y'all. This one's easy. I mean, so easy. So get you something when it gets any window clings you want. I got those ones from the Walmart for 98 cents. And those clear plastic plates, but you get some of them's got silver in them and some of them's got gold in them. I did a DIY like this a couple years ago, and some of y'all was asking about it, and I forgot to redo it, but um, it may have been last year. And, um, cause it's just something so cute and so, it's just, I don't know, I like it. But put your window clings on it however you want. Those are the ones from the Dollar Tree. I put Christmas trees down and then I put the words Christmas down. But, yeah, it's only because I didn't have footage of when using the ones I actually stuck down because, um, I'm just like that. You don't need Mod Podge or anything. And get, I just used, um, this Buffalo Check Ribbon. Had it for 10 years. I don't know. It's been a long time. <clears throat> from the Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to roll it out and see where I want the placement of my little plates. Such an easy DIY. Put some um, hot glue down, and I just put it along the sides where the wire is on the ribbon, <clears throat> and um, lay my plate down, hot glue it down. And space it out however much I want it. Yep. <clears throat> and I always do four plates, but you don't have to. But that's just what I do. And this is cute. And I take some little berries and little holly leaves and little pieces of greenery. And glue it to it like I put my real berries over the where the, the little red berries are on that window cling. I put real berries over it. And little tiny pine cones. And I put a little uh, red bow on the second one down. And a little green bow on the fourth one down. And then I'm going to take and make a shoestring bow. Um, out of that buffalo check ribbon. I think I dovetail the ends of it. And then I hot glue it to the top of my, yep, to the top of my, my ribbon there. And then... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. I'm going to put a pine cone on it. <clears throat> and um, I think I, here's where I take jute. Yeah, I take some jute twine and tie it in a knot. And um, I'm going to hot glue it to the back of it there for to hang it. For to hang it. <laughs> and I hot glue it down and I put a piece of um, that buffalo check ribbon. I think I used a piece where I dovetailed it. And just go over top of it and sandwich it in that jute in between that ribbon. Oh my gosh. Blah, 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 blah. Stutter, Kathy. I can't get it out. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, there. Yep. Yeah, that's what I did. And I'm going to take some jingle bells there from the Dollar Tree and put it on the very bottom there. I just lift up my plate a little tiny tad and, and stuck some hot glue up in there and stuck that little hook or hanger of those jingle bells up underneath there and then uh, tack the ribbon down on and here it is i wish i could i would have showed it to you up closer because it's really it was so long y'all look it went clear up on my holy wall there up above my white look at that it's so cute though um i made some for my mama last year year before i don't know when so here's here's everything y'all that went fast didn't it or maybe it didn't maybe i was like Phew. No, you should have been on this end. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all enjoy the video, and I love y'all very much, and I'm sorry it's late, but um, I'm having loading problems, but that little snowman is so cute, and I love that sign, but I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, and when I say it, I mean I truly, truly love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. I just, y'all mean so much to me. And you're my friends. Yeah. So I'll see you next week. Lord's Will and Creek's